All right, so here we are in Serata Scratch Live. I just updated to version 2.1. Now, version 2.1 of Serata Scratch Live is mainly uh, just bug fixes. So, you know, if you've been having maybe some glitches or crashes since the recent 2.0 update, you should give 2.1 a try and see if it fixes the bugs that you were encountering. Now, the big thing that uh, is included in this is... Uh, is the ultra knob effect and I'll show you that in just a second but I would also like to mention that there is now integrated support for the CDJ 2900 for HID control as well as plug and play support for the Dune Ovation Dicer controller which looks pretty cool if you are uh, if you're a turntablist kind of guy but the ultra knobs is the thing that I'm most excited about so now all you have to do is open up your DJ effects and you'll see that, well, there's a couple different things. First is we now have this beats counter, which you can simply change the value of by clicking the arrows to the right. But also, next to this three knob button, we have a one knob button. And that is the ultra knob. So if we click on this button here, you'll see that now we can select from our different effects. And you'll see that some of them are in all capitals. Those are the effects that you're used to seeing. The ones that are not all capitalized are the ultra knob effects. And the ultra knob effects, uh, basically what they do is they take into account multiple effects all at the same time. This is kind of like in Tractor with the chained effects mode, where you know you can be affecting, uh, is that a chain effect mode? Anywho, you can affect multiple things with just one knob. It's kind of like macros in Ableton Live, that's a better example. Now, if we hit this little kind of three column button I guess you would call it you can see that we bring up the effects parameters so if you can see that when we move this knob we're actually affecting the parameters down in this section and when we choose between the different effects you can see that you know those new effects are loaded now one cool thing about this is that there are actually now new presets for the effects and uh, so let's say we go into this echo here, right? We go to echo, and then you can see that we have different choices, and those are presets. So we can just say eighth note delay, for example, and it will change what the values are here. And if you want, you can go in and click the little pencil here, change those parameters, and then save those. So, you know, maybe you find that, oh, I really like how this echo sounds. You can go in, click save, and then use that in the future. You can also create your own uh, ultra knob effects by going in, you know, changing to what you want, and then clicking save there. And that way, you can save your effects for multiple use over time. 